In this tutorial, I will show you how the polarity analysis by Heiner Fry works. So first, in the left upper corner, I click on Repertories, and I open Berninghauser Repertory, and the one authorized and certified by Heiner Fry. So I single click on it to open it. And here at the right, it opens. So let me close here the welcome window. Do you want to see it again? I say no. And if I do a double click on the top, the repertory window is full screen and the table of contents closes. Now let's explain how it works by taking a few symptoms. So for example, mind mildness. I know it is here in mind and sensorium, and then mind, and then mildness, enter. And you can see that this is a polarity symptom, and a polarity symptom means that it has an opposite symptom. So let's take mildness. You can take the symptom with drag and drop, or you can click here on the take icon. Let me use here drag and drop. And with the polarity analysis, you should put all the symptoms in the first clipboard. And also to use the polarity analysis, you should take only symptoms coming from the therapeutic pocketbook. So let's take a second symptom. For example, uh, intellect comprehension uh, difficult. Let me do this time with the keyboard fully. So I start to type MI. For mind and sensorium, I press enter, and then I say intellect, enter, and then I say comprehension, enter, and a D for difficult, enter. So you see again that uh, this symptom has an opposite symptom connected to it. So let's take this one also, we we'll drag and drop. So let's take a third symptom, and let's go for... Uh, cold bath aggravate and I'm not exactly sure where it is so let me do a word search and I can do a word search by using here the quick search box at the top or on the keyboard I just start to type the question mark or the F4 so I do question mark and then I type cold enter bath enter now you can type AGG for aggravate or ameliorate, but you can also use on the keyboard the larger than and smaller than for ameliorate. So I do on the keyboard the larger than, and you see automatically it switched to AGG, and I press enter. Now make sure that you have set uh, that the search goes in the current document only, and that can be set here via the local options window. So I press on the keyboard again enter or in the left upper corner I can click on the search icon. So here it is. It is in change of a general state, aggravate, bathing from bathing, cold bathing. Now attention, normally when you single click on the symptom nothing happens. And when you double click on it, you go to the repertory to that rubric. But there is an option here via the local settings. And I click on the tab search options. Take symptoms into a clipboard with a single click. And I have it now on. So I close here the options. So if I single click on a symptom in the search result, I do that now, a single click you see that immediately it is added to the clipboard. Okay, let me double click here on this symptom. And you see that there is no opposite symptom connected to it. So it's not a polar symptom. Okay, let's open the polarity analysis. And that goes automatically by clicking on the analysis icon and the module knows that these symptoms are coming from the Heiner Fry uh, therapeutic pocketbook, and it will immediately do a polarity analysis. Now, what's a polarity analysis? 
the remedies are now sorted according to the polarity difference. Now, what's the polarity difference? So here are the polar symptoms, and this indicates the sum of the degrees of these remedies in these rubrics. So you see that mildness and intellect comprehension difficult for silica. Here's there are a 3 and a 3. And you see that in the opposite symptoms, uh, it's not present. So a 3 and a 3 here is 6. So the sum of the degrees of the polar symptoms is a 6. And the opposite polar symptom is a 0. So 6 minus nothing is a 6. So let's take another example. Let's do this one, Natum Carbonicum. The sum of degrees of the polar symptoms is a 5. So let's check. It's a 1 and a 4 is a 5. Then in the opposite polar symptoms, you see in irritability, it's a 1. So 5 minus 1 is a 4. Okay, let's see if there's another example, which is, okay, let's do here Ambra. So uh, I have a total of 5, so 3 and 2 is a 5, and it has minus 1 and 1, so 5 minus 2 is a 3. So in this tutorial, I don't explain more about the philosophy be behind the polarity analysis. For this, I refer to the manual or to the teachings of Heiner Frey. But one important issue is that if you check the opposite polar symptoms, that they are not high uh, mentioned there compared to the symptoms of the patient. Now, here's another button. And with this button, you can switch between the polarity analysis and the normal analysis. So let me single click on it. Now what happens, the remedies are now sorting according to the score of the sum of symptoms. And if they then score the same, then the sum of the polar symptoms, the degrees, is taken into consideration. So you see Rustox is in three symptoms and Lycopodium in two. And let's see these ones. Lycopodium and Silica are both in two symptoms. And then uh, into consideration is taken the totality of the degrees. So lycopodium is higher because it has 2, 7, and silica has 2, 6. So although polarity difference is here highlighted, still the remedies are sorted now according to the sum of symptoms. If I click here again on this button, I have again the Heine Frey polarity analysis and now the remedies here are sorted according to the score of the polarity difference. Now I want to point out here this option if I click on the local options icon there is an option to include non-polar symptoms in the sum of the positive polar degrees. So let's turn it on and show you what happens so let me find a nice example. Uh, let's take here sepia. So sepia has a, is not in mildness. It is in intellect comprehension difficult. And it is also here in aggrava aggravation from a cold bath. And you see that this symptom is not a symptom uh, that has an opposite uh, polar symptom. And you can recognize this because there is no icon present, no yin-yang icon present. So if I calculate here for sepia, uh, I have here a 7, so it's a 4 and a 3. So it takes into consideration the degree which it is present in the symptom that is not a polarity symptom. And if I remove this option, so I say here, I uh, deselect include non-polarity symptoms, and I close it again. Let me go to sepia, where is it? I type S-E-P, 
enter. Here it is. You see that now the degree of the polar symptoms is here 4, and you see that it only calculates this symptom. And it ignores here the symptom which does not have an opposite symptom. So I think this was also explained about uh, uh, polarity analysis of Heine Fry. I just like to point out that you should take only symptoms from the pocketbook, don't mix it with other symptoms. And you might have noticed that not the full symptom path here is mentioned. According to instructions of Heine Fry, only the important uh, part of the symptom is here mentioned. And as soon as you click here on this icon, to show the a normal analysis result, you see that the full symptom path is shown.